Spotting an alligator here in Florida is not exactly shocking. They're pretty much everywhere. But tonight, some new statistics show they may be more common in the Bay Area than you might even think. Areas like Sarasota, Tampa, Lakeland, and Bradenton are all in the top eight for nuisance gator removals in Florida. Jen Holloway joining us live tonight from the Brandon Town Center. And Jen, you went on some gator hunting adventures today. What did you find? Well, actually, Keith, we found out from this trapper who's an FWC approved trapper. He tells us there are a reported three alligators living in the drainage system here at Brandon Town Center. But then again, this is Florida, and we're used to stories like this. News Channel 8 shows you gator sightings on almost a weekly basis, like this one in a Bay Area backyard. He was trying to find an opening in the fence, or this one found in a Pasco parking lot and gently pulled through a furniture store to a waterway out back to be released. And who can forget this huge fella? This Jurassic-sized gator was captured on camera at Circle B Bar Reserve in Lakeland. Well, today we watched alligator trapper Rob up the grove in action along a retention area at Brandon Town Center. When he takes the hook, he's like a dog on a leash. He don't know what's going on until you get there and you go to extract him, then he says, uh-oh. Today, he had more than just grappling hooks and fishing poles in tow. He also had these three massive gators caught earlier today inside the trailer behind his truck. He wasn't at all surprised to see this list from the FWC on nuisance gator removals. Sarasota is number two. Tampa, right behind. Even Lakeland and Bradenton made the list. Up the Grove believes all the water makes the Bay Area attractive to gators. All them rivers are fed by little fingerlings of creeks, and the rivers are their super rivers and creeks are their interstates. Up the Grove says the bottom line is they were here before we were. They're part of uh, our heritage in Florida, and we just have to be respectful to them. A total of 8,050 gators were removed by FWC approved gator trappers in 2016. And as far as the numbers come in for 2017, they continue to rise. So we'll have to see how they compare to last year as compared to this year. Jenna Keith? All right, no shortage of gators. Wow, yeah. Jen, thank you very much.